Today we are working on the Dynamark and hopefully getting it running. So here's the engine. It has no carburetor currently because I put that on the Aaron's mower. So in this box I have parts from a 12 horse Briggs and Stratton. The actual that one there that one was blown up I believe and my dad saved some things from it and it was from a Dynamark so I have this Dewey here looks like it'll fit so we will try to get it to work alright so this looks like it'll fit so we'll try to put it on there Now that's on. Now we need the actual carburetor, which is right here. And it says Briggs and Stratton right on it there. So I'll take all this off and then try to get it on there. All right, so I've got this on here. So, but all these rods that are supposed to go from here to here, um, they're obviously not set up for this, but so I think I'll make my own, find some thin wire or something, something like that resembles these, and then make my own piece that goes from there to the governor guy, and then, then we'll have the throttle. And then this will just go on here, like that, and then a bolt in the top, then that will go to there. Then the choke, I'll have to figure that out because this isn't long enough. So yeah, and I need a gasket to go in between the carburetor and the intake. So that's what needs to happen, I guess. Day two. Alright, so it's the next day now, and instead of waiting to get a gasket, I'm just going to make one out of cardboard. So I've got the rough drawing, so I'm going to cut it out, and then do some more detail and get it as good as it should be. A tip for doing this is to get the thicker stuff. The stuff that's meant for the freezer is normally thicker than the stuff like for cracker boxes or cereal. So they're normally a bit thicker than the other stuff so it's a bit more gaskety. There, so I just put a bit of WD on that and then pressed it against that so it gives me a good thing of where I need to make a mark. So now we have about our mark about where it's supposed to be. So I've got my little hole maker. Line that up about where I think. Anyways, just do it like that. There, I've butchered it out of there and it's pretty good. I might go back and fix a bit more, but it's pretty much ready to slap on there. Now, if you wanted, you could paint this with some spray paint, and it would get some, some better, bit better uh, gaskety stuff, but whatever, I'm not going to do that. Just slap it on there and see if it works. Okay, so I don't have anything for now, but this cable, or electrical cable, should do. I mean, it kind of works, so uh, that's sketchy, but whatever hook up the gas and see if it works, I guess. So, the bowl was leaking, so I took the carb off. Or the, the, the carb was leaking, so I took the bowl off, and it made a lot of gas on the floor all over me, up my sleeve, and I tried pinching off the line, and it just put a hole in it. So, fuck. Well, we'll try to start it. Eventually. 